What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need in the first 60 seconds, and if you'd like a step-by-step -step run through, we'll give you that as well. Today we're going to talk about how can we add a vertical section to the home page of a communication site. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd, I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say thank you to everyone out there for watching. We are so close to reaching the next level with the YouTube and being a part of the creators fun thingy. We are like tap, tap, tapping at the door. Just 500 more hours viewed within the past 12 months. Okay, way more than anyone wanted to know. But here we go. Let's get the timers and let's rock through this. All right. So when you get a brand new communication site, you're going to get a home page and it's going to have a big old giant hero web part with five things in here. And at some point, you're going to have the great idea where you'd like to add like some sort of right hand, like, you know, quick links, whatever, some sort of like secondary navigation thing. And you're going to go, you're going to hit the edit mode. You're not going to be able to do it. Well, in order to fix that, all you got to do is create yourself a one column section, move this into it, and then delete this giant full width column deal. And now you're going to be able to add in your vertical section and then boom, you are in business. There you go. And before we get started, I want to give a great big shout out, great big thank you to everyone who has already subscribed. If you want to subscribe now so you can know as soon as new stuff comes out, go ahead and click on like, subscribe, hit the bell, and we appreciate you. Well, let's get on with it. And let's break this down and understand why the vertical section option is hidden or in what situation it's going to be hidden. Basically, I'm going to reverse everything so you can see, and then we'll go back and end up back at this state. So uh, I'm going to go back and I'm going to I'm going to get rid of this vertical section and deconstruct it. It's like those deconstructed meals that all the uh, you see on the cooking shows. This is SharePoint deconstructed. Okay, uh, and we're going to now add in a full width section. Section, and we're gonna put this up here. This is the way that your home page for your community site community site communication site comes out of the box. That is this is the default. You're gonna get five, you're gonna get like some random people doing stuff with links to SharePoint. I, if you spend any time on a bare bones brand new communication site, you know exactly what's going on here. So nevertheless, uh, so you're at this state and you go and you wanna add in like a vertical section over here. You wanna put like a shortcut, quick links thingy over there. So you go to your plus and you're like, oh snap, no, no, what's going on? Well, it's because you just can't do that if you have a full width section already on the page. So then what you're going to do is you're going to fire off a new, which I mean, by default, I don't think you're going to have this extra section here. Okay. You're just going to have here. How many extra sections do I have? But regardless, just go ahead and create yourself a one column and you're going to drag the existing, the default hero web part down into that. And then you're going to, I mean, then you got to get rid of this section. So you're going to delete this. Uh, full width section and now when you go back you're gonna have the ability to add a vertical section and then you know I don't know why but I love to just throw in like a quick links area here go to town so this looks updated by the way hold on folks are we are we getting an update here that I oh that's a link I don't want link I want where is it quick links there we go I was like what is that so that would be a single link what I did first but here's just a list of links you can put on I find it helps with navigation so there you go hopefully this has been helpful again thank you so much for watching we appreciate you SharePoint rocks and so do you we'll see you next time I'm a SharePoint expert play with data extra careful with my hands cuz I gotta use them forward yeah I'm a big old nerd I like maple syrup all my pancakes I don't care what you heard